pricing psychology for your Shopify store. Hey, what's up guys, it's Brendan here, back at you with another video. So today we're gonna to be going over pricing psychology, how to price your products for your Shopify dropshipping store. This is definitely something to keep in mind for your Shopify store in general, something that not a lot of people actually cover and is definitely an important thing to consider when you're making your product pages, setting up your products in general on your Shopify store. So that's what we're gonna be breaking down today. Guys, if you haven't already liked this video, be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss anything but in a second here I'm gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna go over pricing psychology so I'll see you guys in a second alrighty guys so we're now in the computer so breaking down pricing psychology definitely something that you need to know when you're setting up your Shopify store so right off the bat the first thing to understand is to do the 999 or 95 okay now one thing to consider here with reducing the left digit by one looking at the conversion rate one thing to keep in mind before we actually even really get into all of this is is that the pricing psychology still matters depending on the type of store that you are creating which we're going to be going through a couple of different store examples in this video so you definitely want to watch this but that is the difference there too is to consider it for your actual store but in general for most stores most people doing Shopify you're gonna be going with the 99 strategy or the 95 okay because of the results speak for themselves I mean look at this right here they have a chart set up on this website which if you guys want to look at this website all you have to do if you want to read through everything we're just going to be going through a few pointers just search for pricing psychology on google and you'll definitely be able to find this article but breaking it down here from the beginning at the top we have the conversion rates okay so dot 99 is a higher conversion rate than just leaving it at one or dot 95 that's definitely something that you want to do so end your prices in 99 or 95 or anything with a nine because it's all human psychology okay they have done tons of studies and tests to see that this is what people appeal to this is what people like and want to see in their pricing okay so instead of doing you know three dollars you want to do 299 this is a very common thing I see a lot of you definitely doing and taking advantage of every big store is utilizing this targets Walmart's all of the big stores at whatever stores are in your country that are those like big box stores Amazon does it okay for example there everybody is really utilizing the 99 strategy for any kind of really like discounty type store which is uh, most stores are going to be going with this type of pricing strategy um, but going along here, reducing the left digit by one, this is also something to do. Instead of marking your prices at 20, we go with 1999. Okay, it's visually minimalizing the digits. Like I said, if you guys want to read through everything here, we're just going to be kind of skimming along and jumping through different examples. Uh, you know, you can definitely search this up yourself if you want to really read the in depth studies that they have here. But looking even at the syllables, numbers with fuel syllables, which is kind of cool. I'm scrolling along here as well, even displaying prices in a smaller font size. So this is something maybe some of you guys haven't considered in your themes. Make sure that the font of the pricing, if you go into the code or if you just leave it default, make sure it's relatively smaller because if you have the, the prices really big, it's going to draw people away from your site. So you want to make sure that your prices are kind of small relatively and not huge because it's going to make it seem more expensive the bigger that the that the uh, product is as well if you're going more premium obviously that's not really most of you guys doing Shopify stores you're not gonna be selling like premium products but that's another thing uh, so this right here even low maintenance so you could be like low low cost the low whatever instead of saying it's like oh hi this you know that's also words of magnitude so the way that you're talking about the product on your sales pages that's another thing to consider um, moving along here separating shipping and handling so this is something actually that I see a lot of people kind of doing um, if you're going to be going for the free shipping method which is something I've always done on my stores it definitely works better and eliminates a lot of the abandoned carts which is definitely an issue however if you are going to go the route of actually shipping products maybe this is a good way to go if you're going to be uh, charging shipping separately then you could kind of be like oh if you spend over a certain amount then shipping is free then you could go with this type of method um, but generally it's better as like an upsell for maybe faster shipping to do like the 299 shipping thing I mean generally um, when you're selling a product I would probably recommend even just going for the uh, free shipping and $18 price tag mostly because a lot of people especially with Amazon they're used to the free shipping stuff but you could also go with this as you can see it is a little bit it looks like a, a lower option because it's like oh it's only 15 bucks and I only have to pay $3 shipping so it really I'd say this one is kind of dependent on yourself and what you want to do 
Um, it really is kind of dependent. I wouldn't say this is necessarily the be all end all just because I've tested it and with stores you get a lot less abandoned carts with uh, free shipping. Um, so this one is more so for um, more so for info product stuff like that. This one also can be uh, more so for that type of product. But going along here as well, going more with specific pricing. If you want to say like the amount of people that have used this product, something like that, you want to go with a specific number versus just a general number for people that have actually viewed the product. Um, moving the positioning the low prices towards the left. I remember that was right here. So yeah, so when you're on your store and you're customizing your theme, make sure that you position the low prices toward the left versus the right. There's a lot of little details on this site here just to break it down. But um, in terms of actually going along with what I was talking about with looking at different store examples, yep, see here, remove cents from emotional purchases. Get it, remove the cents because it's like emotional. If you guys get that joke there, the cents out of the yeah, emotional purchases there. And you want to add the sense, like, you know, sense to the rational purchases. So it's kind of like if you're buying toilet paper, that's like a rational purchase. You're like, oh, I need toilet paper so I can go to the bathroom. Okay, right? That's a rational purchase. Or oh, I need to buy some water. That's a rational purchase. Oh, I want to buy this pretty ring online. That's an emotional purchase. So consider the type of product that you're selling. If you're selling a flashlight, maybe go more for the rational stuff. But for the emotional stuff that's like clothing or any kind of fashion brand, that's definitely the emotional purchase. Now, to put some of these uh, tactics that we just went over from this article, and like I said, if you guys want to read through everything you can kind of go and look at that this is also tiffany co as you can see their prices are super teeny because their product price is really really expensive they sell like 500 um you know little pendants and stuff like that uh, but those are kind of like the main things now taking this into practice right looking at actual stores that are utilizing this psychology the first one here is sugar and cotton so this is a very popular dropshipping store they mostly do facebook ppe ads to get a lot of uh, viral traffic to their site but looking at the pricing psychology that they're utilizing as you can see here free shipping so like i said a lot of people still doing the free shipping thing versus charging for shipping honestly i think that the free shipping thing is just really popular for a lot of hot product stores so you uh, eliminate a lot of the abandoned carts but as you can see 1695 they're going with that 95 pricing strategy there so they're crossing out the 36 and as you can see the font is relatively small in comparison to the add to cart button and all that kind of stuff it is relatively sized properly and you can see it's red so it's like oh it's you know it's a cheaper price now it's a red red tag right it's a red tag price so as you can see, 1695 ending in 95, this is perfect for the discount type of store, which I imagine is most of you guys trying to go there. But if you're not gonna be going with the discount type store, and it could be a general store or a niche store, just any kind of discount type store, which is generally what you wanna go with with lower ticket products, cheap products that are generally cheaper and stuff like that, stuff that you're not trying to like sell people on a premium. However, so that's the kind of pricing strategy you wanna use for this type of store. But if you're going more for a brand, a more premium product, a more premium pricing strategy, this is more so the way you want to go. So this is Alphalete here, very popular um, men's, men's and women's um, fitness athleisure wear company, okay? So they sell mostly over Instagram influencers, but as you can see, $52 for these pants. Now, these pants are not just AliExpress pants. They are um, customized from a manufacturer to look a certain way and to have the right type, like their logoing, their stitching and all that kind of stuff. So they are custom pants. So they aren't just any typical pant, right? They aren't just a regular default AliExpress pants. So obviously they are a more premium product here, but they're selling them for $52. I mean, I cannot imagine how much they actually get these for. As you can see, they're sold out. They definitely are selling like they definitely work for the brand and what they're doing here so as you can see 52 dollars i mean i can't imagine how many they sold but going for the more premium pricing strategy you want to end in two zeros because it it's almost like apple okay when apple sells a product they don't really talk about the price they talk about the benefits of the product the awesomeness of it okay they don't they don't talk about wow it's so cheap get it for 50 percent off you know that's not the type of strategy that they're going for here with alpha Lee or apple or any kind of brand like when i bought this phone i didn't think about wow it's like this little markdown price but da, 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 da. i was like no the features of this phone and like all that kind of stuff like that's what i bought the product for and it's about the experience so if you're selling more so the experience the premium stuff and you're actually making your own products or any kind of thing like that building a brand 
then this is the type of pricing strategy that you want to go for. Although I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be going for this type of strategy because that's the majority of Shopify owners. But if you are going more for this type of Shopify store in the long term brand building, that's more so the pricing psychology that you want to go for because it offers a more premium thought. Okay, people are like, oh, it's only 52. It's like, it doesn't even, and if we go back to their homepage even, as you can see, they took away the double zeros even from the collection pages, so it looks smaller, okay? The price is really pretty tiny right there. It looks smaller, emphasizing the images first so that you look at the image and you're sold on the product before actually seeing the price, okay? I bought one of these shirts like a while back and I was like, oh man, it's like 30 something dollars, but I was sold on the, the texture, the product itself, okay? I wasn't like, oh man, it's 40 something or 30 something because I think that they also charge shipping on here. Um, so, but as you can see, it's like $30 for this basic t-shirt. Like they make a huge markup, but because it's a brand, they have premium quality and all that kind of stuff. They're able to get away with it. Okay. Not any traditional AliExpress dropshipper is going to be able to get away with this. But if you're creating a special unique product for a brand, then this is the pricing strategy you want to go. But if you guys are going this discount, definitely go with the 95. So I hope this cleared up a few different things for you guys with your pricing strategy. This is the type of strategies that you want to definitely utilize. Definitely recommend as well going through this entire like uh, psychological pricing thing. Now, don't get too overwhelmed because there's a lot of stuff um, in this psycho pricing psychology article uh, if you go through it, but hopefully these are just some things that you could consider when you're making your Shopify store. If you guys want to learn more about how to build a profitable Shopify business, I've linked to my course down in the description box below as well as a Shopify 14-day free trial to go ahead and get yourself started. Feel free to check out the videos beside me, subscribe to the channel, free Facebook mastermind group, and follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down in the description box below, but anyway guys, that's all for today's video, so I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.